Every day, volunteers with Meals on Wheels and Catholic Charities make sure seniors across the valley have the food they need. But now there's a new push to make sure meals are also available to pets. Joining me now is Leslie Carmine with the Catholic Charities of Southern Nevada. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So tell me a little bit about what you guys provide to these seniors. So once a week, once a month, I mean, you guys are really important for them. Yeah, um, for Meals on Wheels, we provide, um, we make meals from scratch from our kitchen. They're packaged and sealed and flash frozen, and they go out once a week with a caring driver to homebound seniors. So these are people who aren't able to leave their home. And obviously that's really important to them because they may not even be able to get to the grocery store. A lot of times they can't go out without the help of someone else. So they rely on everybody around them to really help them uh, stay independent and remain in their homes as long as possible. And so sometimes, you know, we forget that a lot of these seniors do have pets or companions and um, they need help too. So talk mm -hmm. to me about how you guys are trying to kind of push towards that now. Well, a lot of seniors, um, they move here from out of state and they don't have family. They may not have friends here. Uh, so they, they need any extra support that they can receive. So when they do have a pet, um, when we're able to provide pet food with their donation, it just helps them all, all the better. <laughs> they uh, truly rely on those uh, pets for companionship. And hopefully you guys will be able to do more of that. You just received a grant. Can you talk to me a little bit about that? Yeah, uh, we received a grant from Meals on Wheels America. It's uh, Meals on Wheels Love Pets. And basically it allows us to provide services where we can purchase pet food, um, supplies, and also vet services for clients that even if someone's going into the hospital, we can help pay for boarding for their animal so it doesn't go uh, left alone. So with that grant, you will be able to provide uh, something a little bit like this, right? <laughs> yeah, each client uh, receives a bag of seven meals, uh, fresh fruit, a half a gallon of milk. And if they do have a pet, um, they also get the pet food along with their delivery. So right here, these are the seven meals, one for every day of the week. That you guys do, they're all home cooked, right? Yeah, they're made from scratch. With um, They're under the direction of our executive chef and a registered dietitian. So they're very uh, nutritionally balanced and they're designed to be for anyone who may be suffering diabetes and, and other ailments as well. And uh, let's go back to the, the dog food, the cat food, whatever they may need. Some of these seniors, you know, this is their only companion at this point in their life. Can you talk about why it's important to make sure that their pets are also taken care of? I did see, um, you know, they, they are less likely to report loneliness, uh, fewer doctor's visits. So obviously this is really important yeah, to them. Yeah, it, it definitely means a lot to them to have the love of a pet in the home. Um, you know, they just feel more secure. And when we can fill the needs of hunger and that nutrition portion for them and their pet, it uh, means the world. It, it helps their overall health. Um, are there any plans to expand this program, especially now that the grant is out? We do. We did receive a separate grant from the county. Um, we're in the process of consolidating our Meals on Wheels kitchen facility into our St. Vincent Lee dining facility, um, which is going to allow us to be more efficient and to ultimately uh, serve more seniors. Great. And um, for anybody out there that does want to help out, I think we have some information for you guys. If you want to donate, you guys have an area set up where people can, can help, um, help yep. with that, right? We can take donations um, any day of the week at our main campus. It's on Las Vegas Boulevard in Owens, um, or even through our website if people are interested in donating for Meals on Wheels, or if they want to volunteer and help out, um, they can do that there as well. Great. Leslie, thank you so much for coming this morning and talking to us about this great program. We'll be right back after the break.